probably change the perception of the individuals that worked around her. And that's what we don't want to do. So that's why we're here at this particular session is to let's get very active about how we engage and have the conversations that we need to have such that we promote for ourselves. I want to just share with you just a few statistics to make sure that we're all on the same page, that this topic of the gender pay gap is something that's important and it's something that we need to take an active approach to resolving. Regardless if a company gives you what you feel like would be top pay coming out of college, you need to always negotiate. I think by once you get older and you get more in the senior level of your career, then you have an understanding of what you know what is right and what's not so right, right? And so you know how to advocate and ask for what you want. So I wanted to make it still yet a little bit more personal for you. And I to advocate for yourself. This is what statistics are still showing us, that women leave anywhere from a half a million dollars to two million dollars on the table because we don't advocate, we don't ask for our worth, and we don't negotiate. What can you do with a half a million dollars to two million dollars over the co course of your professional career? I know there's a lot I can do. Anybody else? Is there anything that you can do with that money? Right. So this is the truth, ladies. I think sometimes we get so focused on believing that there's a lifeline for us, that a march will, you know, produce some type of immediate action that you know, an equal pay day will produce an immediate action, that legislation is going to produce an immediate action. I'm here to tell you, there is no lifeline. You are your lifeline. There's things that I know about all of you here in this room. You're capable. You're 